This is Dodon Pachi Daiojo for the PlayStation 2. This is a game by Cave, which is probably the best company making shoot 'em ups nowadays. Well, probably ever, actually. Um, Dodon Pachi Daiojo is probably one of the hardest shoot 'em ups I've ever played. Possibly one of the hardest shoot 'em ups ever made. Um, I haven't, I haven't played Futari, that's probably harder, but what do I know? This is ridiculous. And um, this is a sequel to the first Dodonpachi, which was released on Arcade and Sega Saturn, Sony PlayStation. Uh, and, you know, it's a really great game. And this one is just the same but better in every way. It's harder, it's just got more bullets, it's faster, it's got better bosses. So, um, let's play this game. We have two ship types. We have type A and B, which is, a, you know, a narrow shot for type A and a wide shot for type B. And um, when we select the ship, we also have a choice of three sort of pilots, I guess. You have uh, the shot pilot, laser, and... Um, both. I don't remember the names because it's in Japanese, but uh, I'm going to pick laser. You can do both, which gives you a powerful shot and a laser, but you don't have as many bombs. So, um, as this game starts out, we have uh, some more tanks, which is pretty familiar sight to anyone who plays the uh, earlier Dodon Pachi games. Let's see if I can not break my chain. All right, I'm doing pretty well. Oh. There it goes, broke my chain. Um, I really like the chaining in this game, surprisingly. I'm better at it than I am chaining Dodon Pachi. Uh, I don't really know why. I guess the timing just feels a little more forgiving in this one. I'm not entirely sure, but um, obviously I'm not that good at chaining because you can see I've broken my chain a number of times already, but I don't know, I just think it's a little nicer. Um, I am playing this on a PlayStation 2 emulator, which means the frame rate won't be entirely consistent, but um, I will do my best here. And what am I doing? I'm playing this live, which means I'm talking while I'm playing, and um, if you haven't tried that before, uh, it's hard. So, yeah, just uh, don't expect too much of me. And besides which, I am so bad at this game, I'll be lucky if I can get past the Stage 2 boss. But you know what? Um, I'm going to just keep continuing my way through it anyway because I don't really care. Uh, so this stage, lots of lots of tanks, lots of these little flying things with the same patterns. Um, not terribly difficult, but still, you know, a lot harder than stage one of Dodonpachi. That's for sure. And this boss, oh my god. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. So what I've just picked up that's floating underneath my ship is a Hyper. Uh, this is new for the uh, for this game in the series, Daiojo. Uh, what it does is, well, I will... I actually won't show you on this boss, but uh, I'll show you on stage two. Um, it increases your fire... Oh my god, really? <laughs> I've never gotten hit by that in my life. Anyway, it increases your firepower and um, also increases the rank of the game, making it a little harder. Bullets fly faster. Um, but it also increases your chain a lot, so if you, you want to score well, you have to use hypers. And um, you get a your hyper meter is on the left underneath your stock, uh, the little pink thing you can see. And what that, uh, whenever you're chaining and using your laser and stuff, that will increase. And when it fills up, you get a hyper power up. So here we are on stage two. Uh, this is kind of similar in look to stage two of Dodonpachi, uh, except it's not red and it doesn't look like we're on Mars, but there's still lots of these craters and um, little factories and stuff. So, you know, it, it looks just like stage two of Dodonpachi, but the color coloring is a little different. Uh, these tanks that come out of the factories are actually pretty neat. Um, they have these pretty cool little pink patterns and, oh my so yeah, already I'm not off to the greatest start here, but that's okay. 
Uh, this little building on the right that I just exploded uh, shoots out little stars at you when you fire at it. It's pretty nice. And here's a hyper, and I will make use of this. Your shot turns all yellow, and uh, you can look at my chain on the left, and that increases much faster. Unless I break it, like I just did, but whatever. But um, the enemies uh, fire a little faster, and it's a little more difficult while you're using it. And when you finish using it, the overall rank of the game will actually be higher, too. So, if you choose never to use hypers, the game will be a little bit easier. But, you know, where's the fun in that? You're not playing this game because you want an easy game. You're playing it because shooting stuff kicks ass. Um, I'm actually disappointed I do not have a hyper yet on this part. I almost always get one. And... When you do get... Whoa, computer lagged a little bit there. That's right, I'm blaming the lag for that death. Um, when you get here and you have a hyper and you, and you chain all this, you can get like billions of chains. It's pretty awesome. But alas, that will not be happening today. Uh, die. Okay. So, uh, I'm just about at the end of this stage and almost at the boss. This boss is so annoying. It's actually unbelievable how annoying it is. Uh, a lot of it's ba based on luck, um, on what patterns he shoots out and what angle they all are. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll, it'll turn out okay. Uh, there's a lot of these little needle bullets that are uh, really, really annoying. But these aren't really the worst thing it can do. Uh, maybe we'll avoid that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this is probably the worst thing it has. These little layers of needle bullets. Uh, okay. I got it. No problem. Now we go on the left, and then we move slightly to the right to dodge these little walls. And this part, not too bad, but I'm going to have to find anyway. Alright. That was a stage 2 boss. Um, I'm really glad he's dead, because I hate him. So, now we're on to stage three. This stage is kind of notorious. Uh, the second half of it, as we'll see, is really tough. I learned how to do it at one point, but I've forgotten by now, so I'm probably going to fail. Anyway, uh, this is another Sky stage that uh, the Dodo and Pachi series in particular is known for. Uh, stage three of... Uh, Dodo and Pachi was very similar to this one, and I know Don Pachi had at least one, maybe two stages like this. I think stage four, but um, yeah, these sky stages are pretty nice overall. I usually like them in cave games, and we have a hyper, so let's go ahead and use that, and I hope I don't die. Uh, I'm actually chaining kind of well, but that's mostly due to the hyper. I'll be honest. Okay, got that thing. Yeah, I broke my chain already. Um, these blue things... Whoa, watch out. Ah, oh, how did I survive that? Okay, uh, mid-boss. This guy is not bad. But it kind of depends on the timing. If you get to his final pattern while he's in the middle of another pattern, they'll just overlap, and then it's really tough. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. I, I think I got this. Yeah, no problem. Now this part, if you're not right on the side, like I am doing, and those uh, guys swarm in at you, you're like gonna die. So that's kind of the only unfair part of this. You really have to know where to be before it, the enemy pop in. Uh, this part, you have to really herd the bullets because they come out in like walls and it's really, really tough to maneuver through them. Uh, like that, yeah. Okay, these guys uh, cancel out bullets. They're very useful. You need to use them. And I think that hyper maybe. Yeah, let's use that. And not dying. Okay. This is such a hard game. I don't want. I can't emphasize that enough. How hard this game is. And let's wait so I can cancel some bullets with this thing. Yes, very good. I'm probably going to get walled in here, but let's try not to. Okay, there we go. No problem. 
that. Uh, this thing will also cancel bullets. Yes, there we go. Awesome. Okay, these guys are coming in waves and sort of alternate their firing direction and we deal with that. Uh, you have to use these guys to cancel these bullets, otherwise you can't cross over in the middle of the screen like that, and um, you'll just die. Okay, so I actually mostly made it through that. That wasn't that bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. The way I got through second half of stage two, or stage three. This boss is pretty fun. Although, he, again, he is really freaking hard. And this guy, whoa, I forget. Okay. There's a particular pattern to dodging that, but I didn't do it right. And my computer lagged again, so. Um, that's due to the recording. Mostly. I mean, I'm doing this on a PlayStation 2 emulator, so the frame rate will not be perfect, but it's usually better than this, so I, I think that ah, it's due to the recording. Anyway, um, yeah, these uh, blue patterns that I hate now are usually pretty good, but they're very fast. They're, they're just so fast, it's hard to deal with them a lot of the time. Okay, now I'm on the last... Uh, form of this boss. And this is rather difficult. You have to time out the, uh, the intersection of those blue bullets, and um, it's. I can't do it that often, but oh well. Let's go ahead and finish this stage and move on to stage four.